series of content based videos are offered by a team of experienced teacher through asim gyan wahini a great initiative by shri b b jadhav sir let's start our session ssc at one glance a complete guidance series concept direction and coordination by mr b b jadhav students of ssc must watch for complete revision and understanding myself shitija sankar from vpm swidya mandir daisar east technical guidance mrs megha rani so in today's session we are going to see science 1 lesson number 10 space missions now i'm going to explain all the important concepts from this chapter whatever i'm going to explain please listen carefully and study this points thoroughly if you memorize and understand this points thoroughly be rest assured that you are thoroughly prepared for your exams before we start just have a look on paper pattern all together there are four questions question number 1 a mcq best question on textbook question number 1 b that is five questions of one mark each no fill in the blank question number 2 give reasons any two out of three question number 2 b write in short any three out of five question number 3 answer the following any five out of A and question four answer any one out of two. So now let's study important points from this chapter. Space missions. In today's session, we are going to cover the following points: space mission, artificial satellites, classification of artificial satellites, satellite launch vehicles. and space mission away from the earth what is space space also known as the outer space is the near vacuum between celestial bodies it is where everything that is all of the planets star galaxies and other objects is found man has always been curious about the sun moon stars and the world beyond the earth the advancement of technology especially space technology has taken a huge step in the last part of 20th century hence space travel got a boost thousands of artificial satellites are revolving around the earth in specific orbit this enables man to know and understand 
more about the solar system. So there are specifically four objectives of the space mission. First, to launch artificial satellites in the Earth's orbit for study and research. Second, for various purposes like weather study, telecommunication, radio and TV program transmission, etc. To observe, study and collect the information about other planets, meteors, comets, etc. And to understand the part of universe beyond the solar system. Need and importance of space missions. Real-time communication across the globe. Entertainment and receiving the information. Access to huge information available on the internet. Management of natural resources. Advanced alerts and management of some natural calamities. Satellite surveillance for defense purpose and access to various activities like trade, tourism, and navigation. Artificial satellites. A natural satellite is an astronomical object orbiting the Earth or any other planet. The moon is the only natural satellite of the Earth. Some other planets in the solar system have more than one natural satellites. Similarly, if a man-made object revolves around the Earth or any other planet in a fixed orbit, it is called an artificial satellite. Classification of artificial satellite. Satellites are installed with various transmitters and other equipments to receive and transmit signals between the Earth and satellite. There are different types of artificial satellites. They are weather satellite to study and predict the weather conditions, communication satellite to communicate between different locations in the world, broadcast satellite to telecast television and radio program, Navigational satellite to locate the place in terms of its latitude and longitude. Military satellite to collect the information for security aspects. And Earth observation satellite to study various aspects of the Earth's surface including forests, oceans, polar regions and collect information about natural calamities. Orbits of artificial satellite. Orbit of a satellite is its path around the Earth. All artificial satellites do not revolve in similar orbits around the Earth. Then the satellite is given a specific velocity known as the critical velocity in a tangential direction to the orbit. Let's see more about the artificial satellites, orbits of the artificial satellites. If a satellite of mass M is revolving around the Earth in an orbit of height H with critical velocity, then centripetal force will act on it. Here, R, that is radius, is the orbital radius of the satellite from the center of the Earth. As we know, this centripetal force is provided by the gravity of the force, gravity of the Earth. Therefore, centripetal force is equal to the gravitational force. As we have seen earlier as well, radius is equal to radius of the earth and height from the earth. So we are going to replace the radius small r with 
R plus H. Therefore, critical velocity square is equal to GM upon R plus H. That is, if you need to find out the critical velocity, formula of critical velocity is root of GM upon R plus H. Classification of satellite's orbit. It can be seen that the critical velocity does not depend on the mass of the satellite. As the height of the satellite's orbit from the Earth's surface increases, the critical velocity decreases. Depending on the height of the satellite's orbit above the Earth's surface, the satellite orbits classified as high Earth orbit. A satellite orbiting at a height equal to or greater than 35,780 km above the Earth's surface is called high Earth orbit or HEO. The next is medium Earth orbit. If the height of the satellite orbit above the Earth's surface is in between 2000 km and 35,780 km, the orbits are called medium Earth orbit. The geostationary satellites orbit above the equator. These are therefore not useful in the study of polar regions. For this purpose, elliptical medium Earth orbits passing over the polar region are used. These orbits are called polar orbits. The next one is low Earth orbits. If the height of the satellite orbit above the Earth's surface is in between 180 km and 2000 km, the orbits are called low Earth orbits. The next we are going to see is satellite launch vehicle. Satellite launch vehicles are used to place satellites in their specific orbits. The velocity and thrust of a satellite launch vehicle depend on the weight and orbital height of the satellite. Accordingly, the structure of the launch vehicle is decided and designed. Space shuttle can be used for both launching the satellite in space and journey of astronauts as well. Space missions away from the Earth. As we know, what is the formula of critical velocity that is root of gm upon r plus h. The orbital duration of the satellite that is the time required for one revolution of the satellite around the earth. So here the T, capital T is denoted by the time required for one revolution of the satellite around the earth is equal to 2 pi r that is the circumference upon critical velocity where r is equal to r plus h and bc that is critical velocity. For such mission, the spacecraft must escape the Earth through the gravitational force to travel into outer space. To achieve this, the initial velocity of the moving object must be greater than the escape velocity of the Earth. So, escape velocity is equal to root of 2 gm upon r, where g is gravitational constant, m is mass of the planet, and R is radius of the planet. Moon mission. Since the moon is the closest astronomical object to us, the space mission to object in the solar system where the mission to the moon. As of now, USA, Soviet Union, European countries, China, Japan, India have successfully undertaken missions. In July 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first human to step on the moon. In 2008, Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, successfully launched Chandrayaan-1 and placed it an into orbit around the moon.
Mars mission. Next to the moon, the astronomical object near to the earth is the Mars. Many nations send spacecrafts to the Mars. His role's performance in this mission is remarkable and we all must be proud of it. The spacecraft Mangalyaan made by ISRO using minimum expenses was launched in November 2013 and was placed into orbit around the Mars in September 2014. It obtained very useful information about the surface of the Mars and atmosphere around it. Many missions have been executed to study other planets also. In some of this mission, the spacecrafts orbited the planets, some landed on the planets and some just passed near the planet and observed them. India and Space Technology As we know, ISRO, that is Indian Space Research Organization, has designed and built two important launchers. Those are PSLV, that is Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle and GSLV, that is Geo Satellite Launch Vehicle. There is Satellite Series as well. Insat and GSAT series are active in telecommunication, television broadcasting. EduSat is used specifically for education. And IRS satellite series is working for monitoring and management of natural resources and disaster management. Space debris and its management. In the space, due to exploration, some man-made objects revolve around the Earth. In 2016, it was noticed that nearly two crore objects having length more than one centimeter revolving. This is called space waste or space garbage. The worldwide efforts are now underway to overcome this waste. Now we have covered almost important points from this chapter. In exams, question will be asked only on this cover points. So, in order to evaluate your learning, I'm going to conduct your oral test in quiz form. Students, don't be afraid after listening exam word, as this is going to be a small quiz, and the quiz will be objective-based questions. You will get one question on your screen for which you will be given 10 seconds to think about the answer and write the answer on a piece of paper. Once the given time is over, correct answer will be displayed on your screen. Tally your answer with answer on your screen. With this small test, you will be able to evaluate yourself properly. So student, let's start with our small and interesting quiz. Here we go with the first question. Which of the following is the communication satellite of India? And your time starts now. And the correct answer is INSAT. Second question. Dash executed the first ever mission to moon in the world. Kids, kindly read the fill in the blank carefully. Dash executed the first ever mission to moon in the world. And the correct answer is Russia. Which one of the following is low earth orbit satellite? Navigation, geostationary, internal space station, or all of the above. And the correct answer is internal space station. 
if the height of satellites orbit from the earth surface is decreased its critical velocity will decrease increase remain the same or fluctuate and the correct answer is increases let's see now previous years ssc board questions solve the following one mark if weather forecast is weather satellite then surveillance of border area your answer is military satellite one more question of one mark the astronomical object closest to us is dash in our galaxy and options are mars venus jupiter and moon and the correct answer is moon by considering first correlation complete the second correlation again of one mark hubble telescope 569 km high from the earth surface so revolving orbit of hubble telescope we are supposed to find out whether it is high earth orbit low or medium earth orbit See, it is between 569 kilometer. So the correct answer is low Earth orbit. Another question: Why it is beneficial to use satellite launch vehicles made of one more than one stage? Explain. And it is of two marks. and the correct answer is over here which contain five points another question is of three marks what is an artificial satellite name any two types of artificial satellite and state their function kids you are supposed to first write the definition of artificial satellite now as we have seen there are different types of artificial satellite weather communication broadcast navigational military and earth observation satellite you can write any two artificial satellites and you can state their function with this we have come to the end of the first series of our science one if this video is useful to you then do like share and subscribe because of which you will be able to get all episodes of the series on our channel which will be really fruitful for you as we are going to provide important and valuable guidance also if you have any doubts queries about any concept or topic feel free to leave a comment in our comment box and we assure to solve your doubts students be confident be meritorious and achieve glory thank you